Hey everyone, welcome to... What's that? No! Two weeks ago, we decided to go to Mount Rainier National Park and go hiking at Christine Falls. And of course, an outdoor photographer like myself brings my camera that I have with me and a wide lens, an extra wide lens that I would like to get better landscapes with. Pretty normal story, right? Outdoor photographer shoots with camera uh, during the snow. But what I didn't think was when it was snowing and I decided to switch my lens from the 16 to 55 on the Fuji film to the eight millimeter super wide that the snow was falling and uh, it would possibly get into my sensor. Now, while I was switching from this 16 to 55 millimeter to this Rokinen eight millimeter super wide, a single snowflake managed to fall right into the center of my sensor on my X-T3. Now, we're an hour, hour and a half away from anything dry. We're deep in snow. And the first thing I think of was like, oh man, I can see the snowflake in the sensor. What's the damages? What's what's gonna happen? So I took a few images that I'm showing you guys now where the damage showed. Now, let's look at these photos. This first image, uh, this is exactly when the snowflake hit. So the first image I can I notice that there's, you know, a little darkening right here. But you know, I'm like, I can't see it that well at that point. The next image, it's getting, you know, it's still there. I notice it, but it's, you know, I keep, I keep going on and we're in the middle of nowhere, right? Now this third image, Things get a little darker. I'm starting to get a little more worried at this point as we progress into more photos. It's apparent that this tiny snowflake did something to the sensor. So my kind of cure for this was kind of let the camera heat up and let the sensor burn off that water. This was like shooting for the stars right here. Um, I was just not, I was hoping for no permanent damage to the sensor because I love the X-T3 and I would want to keep it for life. So that gamble paid off and it shows in this, this is my last image of our hike to Christine Falls and it's gone. <laughs> and I was so thankful that day that it was a single drop from the sky a single snowflake and my half-ass plan worked out and it was a great hike too okay so lesson learned one do not change lenses during a snowstorm on a hike or when it's raining just don't change your lens get one overall lens 16 to 55 got a great wide it's got a great zoom it's 2.8 i mean I was just being picky as a photographer. Um, I'm thankful to Fuji for its durability. It, I put this thing through hell. It's been through rainstorms. It's obviously been through a couple feet of snow. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, I'm not gonna be switching lenses from now on on my hikes, unless it's a perfectly sunny day. If I wanted to fix those photos, I could take them into Photoshop, use the clone stamp tool. Easy fix, no permanent damage, a single, Snowflake is not gonna take down the X-T3. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a hard lesson learned and I'm glad everything worked out. But thank you guys for stopping by. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down, don't matter. See y'all later. If you notice the video going from warm colors to cooler colors, it's because I had auto white balance on. Rookie mistake. Camera basics video coming soon. In the meantime, check my boy Stefan out at Nesquik Visuals. Link in the description below. Peace.